What is going on guys? Great for today. We'll talk about another high-end weapon here in the division. This is a weapon that I did craft and of course it is the Liberator. A lot of you may remember the Liberator from the beta. Kind of show you guys what it looks like without any of my, you know, mods or anything like that on it. My primary DPS with this weapon, of course, is 57,134. So it's 57,000, which is not bad. When you craft a weapon, of course, I'm sure most of you guys have seen that you'll get a minimum damage and a maximum damage after you craft that it could be. I got kind of on the lower side. Mine's 6,472. Rate of fire is 850 and magazine size is 30. So you craft this weapon, you could get a little bit higher damage than I did, a little bit lower. I got a buddy that got closer to 8,000 with his damage, so it's going to be kind of roll of the dice. It's kind of the same when you uh, craft a lot of your, if you've crafted any attachments, I've crafted a lot of uh, grips and um extended mags of course those would kind of be a roll of the dice how they're going to work out exactly what they're going to be able to do and what their little perks are going to be but also we'll talk about some other things with this weapon you're going to look at talent this weapon damage is increased by 13 percent for 10 seconds uh the other talent down here you're going to have a every kill performed while your signature skill is active reduces the cooldown of your weapon or other skills by eight percent excuse me and then last but not least the other talent that you have is killing a target with this weapon increases skill power by eight percent for 13 seconds the effect does not stack killing a new target refreshes the timer i do not know how random these talents are because everybody i have seen or talked to has this weapon has the same talent so you can leave me a comment let me know if you have some different talents on your weapon accuracy is not bad reload is pretty much middle of the pack it's not slow it's not fast you can reload pretty quick range is good i've had some ars that are a little bit better but majority of them this has got a little bit more range on it than some the only problem is the stability is a lie the stability looks like it should be pretty decent but this weapon does kick up very hard and also left and right so if you're just spamming bullets down range, if you're up close, it's good. You know, it, you can hold it on the target. And that's what it's good for. It does have a higher rate of fire. And if you will design some good high-end mods, you can get some really high rates of fire with some higher, uh, with some high-end mod like um, uh, some extended mags. We'll talk about that here in just a second. If you look down range, if I hold the weapon down, I'm pretty much going to go to the roof. And so I kind of have that hard left and right even when I burst. You guys will see that it kind of kicks left and right and wants to pull up still. And you'll definitely be able to tell when it's a lot further down range. So this is a weapon that definitely has a very high recoil, but has a very high reward. If you can hit your shots, the weapon does kill quick, and I do really enjoy using it. I've used it in the dark zone, some of the uh, challenge, and some of the dailies, and some like things like that, and it has performed very well. I will slap some of my mods on there. The things that I use, you guys can kind of see what I use on it and kind of the DPS I have, and we'll kind of talk about the other things that I really enjoy about the weapon with the certain mods on it. All right, guys, these are the kind of mods that I'm running on my weapon. Of course, you know, the, the two sights are just things I've picked up, or the sight and the uh, muzzle are things I've picked up. I did craft this grip, and I also crafted this extended mag. Of course, when I put these attachments on, you can see my DPS is 114,020. The rate of fire goes up to 1,059, and the magazine size is 60. The reason there are RPMs and the mag, of course, the mag size goes up is the extended mag variant I have on. Of course, like I said, when you craft these, it's going to kind of be a roll of the dice. Kind of like when you build the gun, you kind of get that roll of the dice on the damage. You kind of get the roll of the dice on what the uh, perks may be. This particular mag has a hundred and five or 50, 100.50% magazine size increase. And of course, the rate of fire is increased by 24.5. I do have some other magazines and I really prefer on this weapon a little better that have a lower rate of fire increase like 16 percent because this weapon will get away from you uh, definitely with that higher rate of fire and you will definitely burn through ammo as you guys will be able to see right here up close this gun absolutely shreds with that high dps and that's the one thing that i really really do like about it especially if you have a good sniper rifle a good marksman rifle this will be a good weapon to use as your secondary or your primary whichever one for things when they get up close but as you can see at a distance even more of a mid-range it kicks a lot harder because of that higher rate of fire. But this is one weapon I would recommend when you do get it. Make sure you have enough Phoenix points or grind some more Phoenix points out to make you a definitely make you a uh, extended mag variant for it. Because I think that is one of the best things for the weapon I found so far. The grip is good, but you can still get some uh, you know superior, some purple uh, grips that are just almost just as good as the high end grip. I think the extended mag was one thing that makes the weapon stand out. And if you can get a little bit lower rate of fire increase i think that it will definitely shine guys the uh the liberators are very very good ar it's one of my top probably right now of my favorites are kind of one of my favorites to use i don't know if it'll be one of my top weapons in the game 
but I have crafted some other weapons that are really good. We're going to bring some videos of those here shortly in the upcoming days. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know if you've purchased the Liberator, if you've crafted the Liberator, if you found it somewhere, just however you've got it. If you got it, let me know about it and let me know if you enjoy it. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.